What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Let's take a look at the next generation of mice. I picked this up. It's from JTech Digital, and it is a wired laser mouse. I picked it up uh, wired because I use a wired mouse because then I don't have to worry about connection and uh, batteries and all that. But I picked this up because I use a mouse every day, most of the day, working on the computer all the time. And I'll tell you what, uh, you know, I don't think I have carpal tunnel problems, but I certainly feel the fatigue in my hand. And so I thought, why not pick up something like this? And I'll be honest, mice design hasn't really changed in pretty much ever. I remember my first uh, IBM mouse with two buttons. I mean, it really hasn't changed much since then. But that doesn't mean that it was the optimal shape when they came out. But uh, this is pretty clever. It's kind of interesting. When I was searching for Ergo Mice, uh, this kind of style came up. But as I was looking at the different pictures, I thought this one seemed to look superior than some of the others to me. Some of them had elements of regular mice, you know, and they kind of held too much to them, like bigger buttons and things like that. Might be fine. But as I was putting my hand down to what I thought would be a really comfortable position, it looked like this one was uh, kind of the one that really embraced a, a a different, more comfortable resting position for your hand. A lot of them kind of look like m just regular mice, but maybe t twisted a little bit. And this one really looked more like a joystick handle, right? So it's obviously much more narrow, or some of them had a little bit longer. And you can see here we have a, a pad that comes off like a, a trail here, which is nice because if your hand is resting here and then resting on this pad, you can still slide it around. It's not dragging or getting caught up on the table. Now I will say here, this looks like a flat matte finish here. It's not really rubberized, but it is a little bit of that soft touch velvety. You do have some ridges here, so you kind of get good traction, good feel on it. This is all shinier plastic. I'll call it a cheap plastic. And this mouse wasn't expensive, so I'm hoping it works pretty well. You know, a cheaper plastic up here. You can see, see the seam obviously right there. You do have a scroll wheel. So if I just kind of put my hand on it, first of all, yeah, it does feel more like a joystick. That, that's really cool. Uh, you can switch the DPI input right there. But if I put my hand here, um, yeah, it's it, these are kind of in the right position for my fingers. I would say, to be honest, when I use my mouse, I use my index and my middle finger for right and left. And so, yeah, I can absolutely do that pretty comfortably here. And then you can kind of switch this middle finger to do scrolling. And this is a nice tactile feel on here. It's kind of rubberized and then with some texture right there. Um, yeah, I'm just kind of, kind of excited. I'd probably say, to be honest, I wouldn't mind if these buttons were a little further up, like this button were right here and the scroll wheel there and then the second button here because, um, as you can see, to get all my fingers on the grip itself, you know, my fingers kind of fall like this. So you actually kind of might, to be honest, you might kind of learn to use your middle finger and this finger for using the mouse buttons. They do have a nice click. You can probably hear them and get, are probably getting annoyed up by it. But they are pretty easy to click too. So you definitely don't have to put much uh, pressure on them. You also have a forward and a back button right here. You can see that. And that's perfect angle for the thumb. I mean, and this is slightly concave here. So your thumb kind of sits in here. You can feel it. And so I don't feel like I would accidentally hit those. It's right where I would put it to get a good grip on things. In fact, if anything, when I'm pulling this back and forth, I feel like you might accidentally click these, but probably not a big deal. Uh, you can also see that this flange looks like it might come off here. We have gliders here, here, and here. It looks like I can pull off plastic to expose the smooth gliders underneath. And then the laser light is right there. We also have a pretty long USB cord. So I'm looking forward to this, using this. This is what I'm going to use at work all day long, basically, because I just want to be able to continue to work all day without worrying about kind of my hand comfort. Pretty cool looking. Definitely is, definitely is selling me. That feels good. I like it. Check it out. This thing was also one of the cheaper ergo mice that I found. Um, so you can save yourself some money. I mean, they definitely go up high in price, but this one was uh, pretty affordable. I'll put a link to it in the description. Peter from Panda, out.